Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping back in again and seeing who we might get. Last time we did a spicy little Eden run and I'm going to try and go for another new character here. Have we done Jerb yet? Have we done regular Jerb? I don't know. I don't know, regular Jerb's pretty fun. I think we have done regular Jerb, but if I remember correctly, it was a while ago. So let's give him a go and let's see what we have to do. Apparently we've got no completion marks as this guy, so... There you go. Maybe we didn't play him. I, I thought we did. Oh, uh, I think it's because I played... I played Tainted Job. Oh, no, no. I think I think I played as him. I unlocked Tainted Job, and I think I died to the beast. Did I just use this on a room with no enemies? I think I did, didn't I? I think I just used this on a room with no enemies. That was a very smart decision by a very smart boy. This would have been a far more fitting room. Holy hell! That is... Uh, whoa. Oh my lord. Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. This guy is tough. Holy hell. <laughs> this guy is not easy. Did he just kill himself? I think he did. Okay, that kind of works. That kind of works. He uh, devastated this whole room and I lost my soul heart. But he, un he unveiled this crawl space for me, so... I will take it, and I will most certainly take anti-grab. Is there any way to get that? I'm, I'm going to just guess no for now. I would very much like it, because playing a sack room right now would be muy bien very great. But, yeah, having even more fire rate as this guy seems fun. So, I'm going to go with it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. As for the question of the day today, I don't actually have one in mind. So, let's think of one on the spot. Let's think of- ooh, even more tiers. Even more tiers. This is some spicy tier rate we've got going on right now. Um, let's think of one on the spot. What is... Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. Even more fire rate. Oh. <laughs> we have 7.5 7 base fire rate right now. Base fire rate. Even with 2.62 damage, this is redonkulous. This is redonkulous. What's... Okay, this is, this is a decent question of the day. Okay, we go up to 9.98. What's the funniest bug you've ever found in a game? What's the funniest glitch you've ever seen? I have been partial to many. Um, I'm trying to think. What's my best one? What's my best one? I, I remember finding one, uh, quite a few as a kid in the uh, the Stitch 626 game, if anyone's played that before. That game was an absolute blast, um, and there was a lot of, like, out-of-bounds bugs that I found, like, just completely randomly. Um, and it's, it's one of those things where it's, like, there's probably, like, it's prob all that stuff's probably, like, mega speedrunning tech now, but I didn't know about it back then. Do you know what? I'll crack these open as well. And let's keep on scooting on. But, oh, I, I, I used to, I, I'm a person that's a pretty big glitch hunter. Um, in pretty much every single game I play, I always try to find bugs. Like, I'm always a sort of, do you know how every, like, when you play co-op on games, you always have that one friend that's just, like, jumping up all the walls and, like, trying to climb everything the unintended way. That, that was always me. I, I love doing that. I love finding unintended routes. And it's just, I, I really like speedrunning as well, so I always try to find, like, speedrunning glitches. Like, recently, I, um, I discovered, like, an out-of-bounds glitch for the newest Borderlands game, which was a lot of fun. Um, I found out that if you set your frame rate high enough, uh, so if you, if you let your game go up to like 200 frame rates, if you put your uh, quality settings really far down, and then you spam enough jump inputs into like uh, into like oh, an angled wall, you can scale the um, you can scale the invisible walls and like get out of bounds. And it can it works in multiple locations. I don't know why it works with different FPSs, but the FPS seems to affect it quite a lot. And I didn't really discover the whole trick in myself. Like, other people discovered it at the same time, but I kind of discovered it on my own. It wasn't a brand new discovery, though. Um, but it was kind of fun to find, and then uh, a lot of different speedrun tech came from it. I haven't really looked into the speedrunning market of that game too much. I don't know how much of it is still used and how much of it is even relevant, but it was pretty cool to see. Um, and I, I love doing stuff like that. I mean, one one game that I've, I, I think I've told pe people on the channel about before, I've mentioned in my videos, 
One game I speed 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 run speed run it speed 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 was Doom Eternal when that came out. I once I beat the the uh, game normally. I went and speed run the absolute hell out of that game and I enjoyed it a lot. Ooh, shot speed's kind of nice here. I think Devil Deal is probably a good way to go here. Um, I will go with Death's List. I don't think Guppy's College really for me, but Death's List is good. Um, yeah, I um, I did a lot of speed running on Doom Eternal and I actually discovered a lot of different tricks. Now, unfortunately, like... 90% of the ones that I found became instantly irrelevant. Um, well, I won't say instantly, but quickly irrelevant just due to um, how the how, how like the, the game evolved. Like when I was first speedrunning it, I, I didn't speedrun it for that long, I'll be honest. It wasn't something that I did... Hello. Uh, it wasn't something that I did a lot. Uh, I, I Basically, I speedrun the game for about a month after release until I got to the point where I was able to beat it in under an hour. Bear in mind, my casual playthrough took me like 20 hours. Uh, but after that, I was kind of like, okay, no, I'm, I'm going to leave it there now. Um, I'm actually fine for all of that, thank you. Uh, yeah, after that, I kind of left it there. Um, but I did find a lot of, like, pretty crucial to the speedrun bugs at the time. They all got kind of surpassed and changed um, to, like, to the point where they weren't as relevant anymore. Um, like, there was there was one that was really early on in the game, because the way that I kind of got into it, because um, it's kind of it's kind of a weird thing to get into speedrunning like that. Um, come on now. Oh, just one penny, please. Just one penny. Give spectral and piercing to all familiars. Now, that is actually pretty good, but not really what I was looking for right there and then. Um... I could use my temperance machine to play it again, but I kind of want to use my temperance machine in, in a room with enemies. Uh, let's keep, yeah, let's, keep, just, let's just keep it going down the normal path. Uh, it's kind of kind of weird how I got into it. So, I I basically just it's fun. I like Spirit Sword, but it is so anti this character, like so against this character, because. Obviously, if you don't already know why, uh, I think this is a secret room, by the way. If you don't already know why, because um, Spirit Sword doesn't do anything with tiers, and this character is based around tiers, and we've got a bunch of tier rare items, so it's kind of like, I don't really want to. Um, let's just pop out a niche machine first, I'll come back for the crack key. Good, good death list popping off a little bit. If you can give us some stats, that'd be great. There you go, look already. Beautiful. I was going to say, watch, watch that be a look down straight away. Okay, so that, I think that's an Eternal Bernie there. I'm not 100% sure. He might just be the large champion. Nah, he's definitely Eternal. Sometimes you can't tell when it's like a white enemy. Dude, I just want to kill this dude first. There you go. And there you go. we got some shot speed as well. Nice. Game. 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 I guess, like, this isn't great because it's... What? Dr. Fetus plus Spirit Sword does nothing, right? But it's like, this isn't great with tier 8 either, but I can't say no to two of these in a row. That would just be rude. Um, let me just go check. I don't think, um, Spirit Sword does anything with Dr. Fetus. Uh, Dr. Fetus. Isaac. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. And then... Overwrites Dr. Fetus. Ugh. <sighs> Very sad. Unless I get Hemolacria, there is no point having them both at once. Which is just upsetting. Should make this a little easier, though. I do need to increase my bomb damage a good bit, though. But yeah, it's like... Fire rate isn't great with this either, but I feel like I can't... I can't ignore two items in a row that are like this. That would just be... Terrible. Oh god, I- Oh! I can't escape! I can't escape! I can't escape! <laughs> okay, um... 
Yeah, some mistakes have been made. I will die this run. That's unfortunate. I did not consider this. I did not consider that Veriko's veins would um, ultimately be my demise. I have to admit, I've never, I've never seen this anti-synergy before. So I was not expecting it, but I am a little scared of the fact that if I get hit, are you, you've got to be kidding me, game. You've got to be kidding me. I wish I'd never picked up Dr. Fetus. I wish I'd never done it. The temptation was too deep. The temptation was too deep. And I buggered it. I got damn buggered it. Also, I just took Amnesia and I didn't lose my mapping. Is that not what Amnesia does? I thought that's what Amnesia did. Oh god, I've got to upload my YouTube video in a second. I forgot to do that. Oh, right. If you don't give me flight game, I'm going to be very perturbed. I'm going to be very perturbed if I don't get flight somewhere out of this. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I need to be so careful. To be fair, Dr. Fetus bombs don't knock each other around now. I forgot about that, so... That is a bonus. I think I should take the left hand. I'm probably dead. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of a way that I can get some extra use here. Okay. Now, this is kind of good because I have golden bombs, which means I can buy Mama Mega and get two uses out of it. Now, at this point, I'm just going to leave my blood donation machine behind. But because I've got golden bombs, I can use Mama Mega for free once, which is kind of good. Which is that? No. To be fair, is it good? I don't really know. I'm going to do that. Because it's like, I kind of want my book still. So it's like, was that really worth it? I don't know. Do I give up the book? Because it's like... I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know though, because then I can do boss rush at any time. I'm, I'm going to give up the book. It's a bit anti this character, but it should be a pocket item. <laughs> no, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. You know what I mean. Give me flight, please. Just a little bit of flight. Okay. Isaac's tomb would be pretty awesome. Isaac's tomb would be pretty awesome. Let me quickly just go back through this way. Temperance. There you go. Okay, now we can get Isaac's tomb. This has been a very bizarre run so far. This has gone all sorts of ways that I did not expect. And I, I'm very annoyed at this right here. Like, come on now, game. I keep forgetting the, mis the the Dr. Fetus bombs don't push each other. You can spam the hell out of them. It's fine. I found pills. Range down is whatever. Power pill is whatever. Tears up. Unfortunately, I don't see any feasible way for us to get across that gap. Now, we can at least get into our care room, which I didn't somehow see before. More money there as well. Dark Prince's crown could end up being useful. Yeah. I mean... Nah. I was going to say there's a chance that using the, the, the soul of Jacob and Ezar gives us flight on our other character. But that wouldn't matter. Because it would only give it to that character anyways. That's, that's a big old F for us right there. This is a devastating run. This run has devastated me. Right, open that. That's nice. Right, I'm going to do a quick pause here. Go upload my video because I forgot to and we'll come right back. Okay, we are back once again in this truly, truly cursed of all cursed runs. I am going to be absolutely fecking bombs all over the place now that I've realized that they don't knock each other back because I forgot about that. So just expect me to be utilizing my high fire rate to the highest degree possible. 
Uh, that might mean that Death's List might not get a look in, but I kind of am okay with that. <laughs> um, oh, you bastard. Let me out. I forgot about... No, no. I forgot about that. That is an anti-synergy if I've ever seen one. Although, I tell you what, getting explosive immunity or pyromaniac could be pretty heckin' awesome with this setup. Like, I mean, seriously, seriously fun. But, what's the chances of that? I mean, I know I'm lucky, but am I that lucky? I mean, I already missed out on a great item this run, so I think it's kind of showing that I've not got great luck. Ooh, follows my exact movements and fires my shots. Don't mind if I do. Sounds unpleasant and potentially deadly. So, good to me, I guess. Hey, look what it is. Some extra range. We got golden bombs again. <laughs> Another free use of this. This is kind of crazy that we're getting... This is the third time we're going to be able to use Mama Mega. That's kind of nuts. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's kind of nuts. <laughs> getting to use Mama Mega more than once is already niche. Getting to use it a third time is pretty crazy. Kind of sad that it blew up that reroll machine there, but... Tis what it is, I guess. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, game. I realize you're happy, but calm yourself down. Okay, come on now. You know what a face full of bombs feels like? Dude. Come on. You got bombs in your face, you big disgrace. Right. Let's see what these future rooms bring me. Shall it be joy or shall it be misery? May spawn temporary bomb grimaces on first room visit. I don't think that's really going to be too useful for us right now, to be honest. We are on a very bomb-centric run. Nice amount of pennies. That guy would have been so useful to play. You've got to be kidding me. If we could have gotten some items out of him, he would have been so damn useful. I'm not saying that would have actually happened, but... God damn it. That's sad to see. That's sad to see. Oh, hello, you. Do not hit, dare hit me. I am not ready. What is this? Plus two, uh, losing... Okay, it's kind of interesting. I think we take this. We got 4.6 fire rate now. Okay, this is quite a lot of fire rate. Let's go. Hopefully this guy can give us some soul hearts. And it's better, uh, also if we're on only soul hearts, they kind of act like black hearts anyways, so. A lot of trinkets that I don't care about there. That's a lot of bombs. That fire rate is nutty. And there's a black heart as well to top us off. Oh my god. Yeah, this is, this is kind of crazy. Holy shit, I did not realize he was a, um, <laughs> he was an eternal boy. That's the problem with this mod that makes them look different on each floor. It overwrites Eternals, and it's it's confusing. It's kind of dumb that the sections count on those enemies. Don't hit me, please. I am just deathly scared in every single room and situation that I'm going to be hit. Every single time. Because the chain reaction that it could cause is is quite upsetting. Dude, why? <sighs> Stigma is kind of good, but I, I, I think I'm better off with the fire rate right now. PhD's pretty good. I'm drowsy. 
Spawns three more mini Isaacs, hell yeah. Oh god, there's more enemies. We got him, we got him. Another three. Hell yes. I don't know why they're like blue baby ones rather than gerb ones, but I'll accept them for who they are. I'll accept them nonetheless. I've adopted them. Another cracked key. I'm just going to use it straight there. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm just going to go for it. There you go. It was a good idea. It's kind of annoying that one of our bomb throwing aspects has spectral and the other doesn't. Money equals power is pretty decent. And I will spend some money and damage technically to open this. Tears up. You know, we need tears up. I found pills. Okay, don't go down there. Right. Away we go. What card do we get? Another good card here. We, we are getting a lot out of Dark Bum right now, I will tell you that. He is giving us black hearts out the wazoo. I'm glad I didn't take Stigmata now. Very glad. Just give me Pyro, and I will be forever grateful. Although, I, even if I get Pyro, I do need to get some red health, so... We'll, we'll see about that. We'll see if that ends up being the saving grace that I hope it to be. How do I get over there? I don't think I can. Oh, you bastard. No, no, no. You killed my little buddy. Oh, no, no. He's, he's fine. He's fine. He just took damage. Okay, 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 okay. This is the scariest run I've ever played. <laughs> this chain reaction effect that can basically trigger whenever I get hit and basically take me into a spiraling loop of death is pretty scary. Damn it. Pretty scary indeed. Okay, I, I'm, I am focusing really hard on trying not to die as well. I just, I want this to run to go well, and we have all the means to do so, I feel. Or, like, some of the means to do so, should I say. Okay, we can smelt this bad boy. He is 100% very smeltable. Um, and then all stats up while well as a curse. I think I'm going to take uh, the members card thing instead. I can only smelt one, so yeah, I'll take that. And we've been to our item, we've been to our shop, I'm good to go. Good. That's actually pretty good. I'd love flight, but I'm sticking with Mama Mega. I only need it for the next floor. I am giving up a lot for this Mama Mega play, and I'm going to make it to Boss Rush on time anyways, so it's like, who cares? Actually, I might not. So that's a pretty good tears up. I'll take that. This is a, a mega chest that I wasn't expecting. Oh boy. It's soy milk, baby. Things just got real wacky. <laughs> oh boy. Things just got very strange. Well, that's a literal no brainer. Okay. I don't even know what Trisagium would do. Let's let's open the wiki again. Dr. Fetus Isaac. It probably overwrites. Try. Trisagium is overwritten by Dr. Fetus. Can still appear from other sources. Okay. We don't need to take that then. I guess I could take marbles, but I'm not super interested in that either. Eternal hearts aren't for me. Shiny rock isn't for me. I kind of forgot we had steam sale, I'll be honest. I'm like, why are all these on sale? That's a 
It's a tears up, but it's a health upgrade, which we do not want. Quickly gain a fading tears up whenever you kill does not stack. I think this is better because I had this before and it proved to be very good. Obviously, we did just lose a lot of damage there, but overall, that went pretty well. Um, and yeah, we're definitely not going to make boss rush now, so let's uh, do a blast here. I probably should do it at the end of the floor so I don't accidentally blow up bomb beggars and stuff. Oh yeah, that's a that's a nice tears upgrade. Not, not that we really need tears anymore, I'll admit. I'm a little silly for even thinking that we would, we would ever need tears, but you know... Ooh. I don't care about minus three luck. If I can get my money up to ridiculously high levels through these means, we could be onto a winner. I think I'm going to use the I'm Drowsy pill in Boss Rush. Maybe the explosion's been smaller from soy milk means that we can't insta-die now from um, our chain reaction of getting hit. Yeah, this was very worth it. Minus three look for all this damage. And obviously, spendable money too, which is just as important. Oh my god, the fire rate. The fire rate is insane. I love it. And there's an extra soul heart. Beautiful. <laughs> That's just absolutely spectacular. I don't even know what's left. Okay, it's you. Oh! Um, I don't know what happened then. But my little ghosty baby did die. But that was kind of to be expected somewhat. Dude, I want the cracked key. Can I just get it out with bombs? Not really. Do you know what? I'm just going to have to drop this here, aren't I? And then go get it. That's annoying, but a necessary evil. Okay, let's take this with us first. Try and use the crack key somewhere that makes sense. Or just randomly at any door. Which is exactly what I did, because I can never be asked to figure out where the ultra secret room is. And I never will. And I'm sure that annoys many of you. Oh my lord. Okay, the infinite damage cycle thing isn't really fixed. At least when the when the room's over, it clears out everything. Use the world card now. Yeah, at least when the room's over, it clears out all the bombs. So if it happens during a room, I'm not too dead. That's beautiful. That is just an absolute wave of love. The D4, no thank you, my friend. No thank you. I will take a hard pass on that. Ooh, every empty heart container will give you... I'm going to take it because it's 7 cent, but I don't believe that does anything for us. Health up? No! Wait, can you be upgraded? No, you cannot. We need to never pick up a heart, which is going to be kind of difficult. We might be able to trade this away in a devil deal, though, so it's not all bad. That's going to double our money. Okay. Um, I'm willing to ditch the I'm Drowsy for this. Oh, shit. We're going we're gonna to have to go boss rush before we go devil deal or anything here, which is a little upsetting. Oh, 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 ow. Yeah, sadly, we do have to uh, go to Bosch Rush first because it's been opened by Mama Mega. That would cause problems if we didn't take, didn't go first. We need piercing. We need, like, spectral or piercing or whatever. This is just gorgeous. Eat one of the bombs. Go on, I dare you. One of the many of thousands of bombs that I've got. Oh, yeah, this is also the updated boss rush, so some repentance bosses in here, too. Rather nice. 
We're not doing a ton of damage, I'll admit. But it's enough. We do not want to pick up that rainbow heart right there. It's kind of funny that Hornfell is susceptible to bomb damage considering the amount of bombs he throws, but he is. You think he'd have gained some sort of immunity? Walk into the wave. Walk into the wave. There you go. Is this guy eternal? I can't tell. He's dead. Okay, this guy's definitely eternal. Oh god, he's got a lot of health. Now, when, they, when the bombs explode in the right place, they do a shit ton of damage. Like, look at that. Like, look how quickly that guy just died. If they, like, explode in the, in the exact right position, they do a ton of damage. It's just often hard to get it into that position, I, I would say. Oh, hello. You are, uh... You're a late chapter boss, you are. This could be kind of scary. What's the other boss that we've got to fight here? Oh, uh, you're here too. Are you normally here? I don't remember. You're much easier to kill, so I'm going to prioritize killing you first. I don't know. Maybe you're easier to kill? I think you split though, don't you, sir? Okay, there you go. You're dead. My lord. We lose a lot of fire rate if we if we pick up a heart, so I'm trying not to. I think we lose some damage as well, which is kind of scary to think, considering our damage isn't great right now. Our damage stat, that is. Our actual damage is actually okay. I lost a Mia. Oh, to be fair, this guy can just delete red hearts out of existence for us, so... We only really need to avoid, um... Please don't say that crashed the game. Okay, I didn't. Uh, we only need to really avoid that rainbow heart, because he can't pick that up. Ow. Okay, they do spread far enough away in big rooms for it not to be an issue. I don't know where he is right now. I'm just hoping for the best. This is a lot of fun, though. I'll say this. I'll say that. This run became much more fun than I was expecting it to be. 100%. Eat a bomb. We just got this infinite line of bombs. I just want a bomb upgrade now to, to really... Send this home as like truly insane. Walk, walk into that. Walk into that infinite line of the explosions. Why don't you see what happens? <clears throat> you have been deleted, sir. Have I grown up? I don't think that'll do anything good for us. We just gotta stand at the exact right distance. And they get deleted. It's beautiful. Oh, I just, I, it looks like a Mexican wave. I love it. If I, if I do like a bit of a back and forward like this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The absolute bomb fury we have going on right now. It's beautiful. It's mesmerizing. I love it deeply. Brownie, you're going downy. I don't know how long we have left, to be honest. I, I think like three more waves after this one. I think. So that's one more wave. And then... Oh wait, there's another boss. What? Ah! Okay, so that's one more boss. That's two. This will be our third wave. Wait, no. Was that... I don't know. This will be our second wave. That, that I'm counting, right? Second. Siren Song. I don't think you're going to be alive that long. But the boss armor is proving to be quite strong with this one. Oh god. Hello. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We have taken a few hits here and there, so this this will be the last wave. I'm counting on it. Oh, hello. What on earth have you... How on earth was I meant to dodge that exactly? There's a lot of heads about here. Just just lay a line. Just lay a line. I love this. Look at that Mexican wave. Woo! They'll fly into it eventually. I know they will. Damn it. I was wrong. That was not the last wave. 
second to last. Oh god, I got hit again. Don't worry, Dark Bomb will save us. There, are, there is red hearts about for him to play around with. You get that one? Yeah! Okay, Buttermilk unlocked. Nice. Gonna go and grab that as well. And then Lil Monster. Hey, fella. Okay. We shall be very much on our way. Um, I'm gonna take Multidimensional Baby just to make sure I'm on one heart and can't accidentally take any more. I'm going to go down to the next floor and see what our shop provides for us this time. That's another very good deal. Soul of the Keeper. You want an active item I don't currently have? Good for you. Hollowed ground. A saving grace on the uh, battlefield of our mind. Whenever we uh, accidentally drop a bomb on ourselves. No! Like that. I think my little baby died again. He is uh, not doing so hot. My gosh. <laughs> I think in these smaller rooms, this is going to be a little trickier. A little trickier. Also, I don't believe Antigrav is synergizing or doing anything. I kind of thought it would, but it's, it's looking very much like it doesn't. I can't believe I placed an actual bomb to get out of here, but I did. I did. Don't you dare hit me, game. I will never forgive you if you get me hit. I will not start this infinite cycle once more. Wooden chest could be good. It's not quite us. Come on. One bomb didn't kill you? Come on now. Yeah, that killed you, at least. Some spiders. It is annoying that we don't have some sort of piercing, just to make sure we don't fling our bombs back at ourselves. But at the same time, it is nice that the bombs stop at the enemy rather than going past and through them. Oh, God. That was close once more. I like the way that uh, little monster is still sick monster. I never removed the sprite for that. Dude, you need to stop. Right there. Dude, he's not dead. There's a line of bombs everywhere. How are you alive? Yeah, it, it seems that the like, bomb explosion can push them out of the remaining bomb explosions, which is definitely causing some issues. It's definitely where we're seeing a lot of misses. That could be a free devil deal, but I'm, I, I'd rather keep my uh, my extra money for when I need it. Quickly check in here as well. Yeah, let's just cover the room. Devil deal teleport. I don't know. I think Little Horn's better here. We need to go deeper is great, but I, to be fair, I don't even know if Little Horn will work. Also, I did just deactivate my thingy, which I'm a little sad about. I, I thought, I, for some reason, I thought it was no red health would also work, but that's Horror Babylon. Oh, it does work. Cool. It does work. I don't really know how it works, but it does work. But yeah, um... We need to go deeper. It's not going to be useful for many floors. It's going to be useful for the next two floors, and that's it. Number two. That is not quite the bomb upgrade we're looking for, game. If you give me butt bombs, now now we're talking, but... Number two. That's just more of the same. That is just more of the same. This, this dude's going to be a pain in the ass to kill. And therefore, I opt to not kill him at all. Okay. Surrounded. And again. Can I not hit this? Or is it just not there? Okay, no, it is there. Interesting. 
interesting. Okay, right. Boss, you are very much going to die. It's the Fallen. It is um, Eternal Fallen, but I don't think that should matter. It did not matter. Lusty Blood's kind of nice here. And what does the shop hold for us this time? Please be something good. This trinket's so cool. It's pretty busted, but it is so good. Okay, nothing crazy. I, all we want is one with a reroll machine. If we get one with a reroll machine, we are we are talking. I don't know why the explosions are like white with this. But they are. Okay, we've got our buddy back, so we've got our double damage again. We need to try and keep him alive this time, but I think if we get trapped in our own bombs again, it's just not plausible to keep him alive at all. Okay, nice. Good amount of money here. Don't need the extra money, really. I should grab it, I know, but... It's fine. Tears up. That always helps. But now we do need a health upgrade again so we can get back our uh, Dark Prince's crown. Oh my god, no. He didn't die. Thank god he didn't die. Okay. We're getting them all stuck there. Actually, room's over. Okay. That worked. Oh, God. This is just scary. It's like there's so much that could go right here. There's so much that could go wrong. I think the be our best attribute right now is the fact that we just have a lot of health to work with. And now wisps to protect us too. Nice. Um, This room is going to suck. There's a rainbow pin. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I was just about to say, there's no way I don't get hit this room. Damn. Can they spawn bomb beggars, by the way? I will play into this guy, just because I think I can get a health upgrade out of him. I'm hoping he doesn't cost too much. He's going to cost a lot, isn't he? Okay, that did give us a heart container. Very good, very nice. I guess I'll just pop this now and carry the perks. Ah! Okay. Just a bunch of pills. I think one of those is a tears up. No. I found pills, I found pills. Ranger. I think I just take the perks. Perks could be really good for like hush or something. It is Eternal Mother. Not what I was hoping to see. Make sure I don't accidentally trigger number two while we're sat here. Try not to get hit by all the bombs. Dad's charm unlocked. Why does it freeze all the bullets when that happens? Oh boy. Things just got a little bit saucy. Apparently I did miss Hush, which I'm kind of baffled by. But there you go. I'm hoping we get Void at some point. But yeah, we just got Brimstone Bombs with this setup, so this could be quite nutty. I don't know how often I'm going to get Brimstone Bombs triggering, but... I bet it's going to be often enough to be pretty fucking good for us. One problem I'm noticing, the brimstone bombs seem to be able to push the other bombs around, which could lead to us getting hit a lot. We'll see. Oh, and the brimstone bombs can also, ow, can also trigger, um, the hand. This is not a good room for us. I do not like the ghosties in this room. Okay. Okay, so they don't seem too common. I think it's luck-based, and I have minus one luck, so it's kind of, like, fair enough. Just 
Just cover the room in brimstones and hope for the best. That's kind of my deal right now. You see, I only fired one brimstone bomb there. Still though. Good. Good stuff. Oh, I need to stop getting hit, like, really, really badly. Because I am taking way too much damage right now. That gave me, I think, a range upgrade. Have I grown up? That was me. I said that. Have I grown up? Another stat upgrade there. Oh, God. What a room to leave this up on. Can I, can I smush this dude? I don't know if I can. I'm going to try it. I can. Thank goodness. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The brimstone bombs. Yeah, the brimstone bombs are going to be a problem. <laughs> like, they're great, but also, please stop. Like, look at that. It knocked it back at me. I have a perks if I need it. I have a perks if I need it. I'd hope not to have to use it so soon. Especially not against Isaac, but needs must. Let's see. Okay, you're almost dead. Good. Dead. Book of Despair unlocked. Nice. This has been a real bomb clencher, hasn't it? Now give me a bomb upgrade. Okay. This is kind of good. So for one, I can get... I think I buy everything here. So I can get that, which is great. Grab that. And I might as well scratch a card here. Get an item for it. Celtic Cross could be huge. Soul of Isaac or Perks, I, I think Soul of Isaac could benefit us more. That's that's massive. That's awesome. So this will take. And the rest will Soul of Isaac. This is a terrible idea. This is a worse idea. Oh boy. Mistakes have been made. So now everything magnetizes towards our bombs. Isaac's heart was was kind of like a... I, I, I don't know why I took that, I'll be honest. I kind of thought it might help. Like, it might sort of allow me to kind of cover my ass. But now thinking about it, I don't think that's the case at all. I think it's just going to get me hit more. Dude, this, this, this thing needs to go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I am definitely going to die. I mean, things are dying fast. That's nice. But I feel like that means almost nothing when I can't control where anything is or is going. Oh boy, this is going to be uh, pretty tragic. That's really nice. I will say, magnetic shots are proving to be ultra useful. Okay, that was that was pretty nice. Got a few rotten rotten hearts going there, or rotten flies, should I say? I think Perks would, was was a better decision, even though I actually kind of like the synergy. I think Perks would have probably been the best idea for us. What even hit me then? Did I just walk right into that guy? There's a very strong chance I walked right into him. So, forgive me if that's exactly what happened. Also, why am I not giving all these hearts to my sweet, sweet boy? Eat, my son, eat. Eat, my child. 
We don't need red hearts anymore. You beautiful bastard. This is why you feed him. This is why you give him his num nums. Because he will reward you. What? There's this room here. Am I dull? Is there something wrong with me? I'm sure all of you are screaming at me. There's perks. I'm sure all of you were screaming at me when I walked away from that gold mine. This is quite beautiful. Another perks there. Just in case one perks isn't enough somehow. <laughs> Look at that. That's hilarious. Okay, nice. Right, lots of hearts for you to pick up there. Nom noms. Nothing useful in there. He dropped a card in there. Could be useful. Apex is going to be far more useful than anything he can give us, I think. There's double pins in here. I don't know what's going on right now. Anything with boss armor is tanking the shit out of the brimstone bombs. I will say that. Having permanent polar invincibility is... Helping quite a bit right now. I didn't take... I was about to say, how did I not take damage just then? I do not know, but... Eventually, I did. Where the hell's the way to the boss, by the way? I'm very confused about this. It's gotta be this way, right? Dude. Stop pulling the bombs towards me, game. Oh, gosh. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of this without a few scratches. Oh, God. The bombs are chasing me. I came out of that alive somehow. And I still got hit. You beautiful idiot. You gargantuan moron. I'm just going to shoot in short bursts so the brimstone can't push him around. Or at least can't push him around too much. Shooting in long bursts seems to be the, the the thing that's getting me killed or getting me hit. Okay. I don't know where you're going, War, but I plead you don't come back to me. God damn it. Okay. Take this. Get this one as well, because why not? We're here now. Damn it, bitch. Okay, we still got a lot of health going into this. Perks, let's go. Don't get hit on purpose, you idiot. Not, not what we're here for. Once he starts moving and we can drag him around, things might go a bit smoother. Either that or they'll go significantly worse. Also, the hand keeps batting away my bombs, which I do not respect. I went a long while without being hit there. I think that's pretty good going. Also, we have Celtic Cross, which could help. At this point, I'm just like Hail Mary. Throw as many bombs as I can at him and hope for the best. Hope I have enough health to, to get through this all. This has just been a tragedy of a run. Oh, God. <laughs> Isaac's heart was a mistake and a half. But I do not regret it. Scorched Earth. Anyways, after that just firebomb of an episode, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.